Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a diaper cake. So I've already made the really tall one, but it's going to be the exact same concept. And then I'll talk about this one just a little bit. So um, the first thing that you're going to need, obviously, number one, is going to be diapers. If you're making a diaper cake, I wouldn't really, unless you want to, I wouldn't be concerned about name brand, you know, Pampers, Huggies, things like that. Just go for the cheapest thing you can find. I got these for Walmart example. I think Target has their own brand. Um, Walmart is parent choice. I went with size number two, just because that's the smallest one I could find. But it does give um, a lot longer that they could use the diaper cake and have it as decor. But a lot of people don't even like to take these apart, but if they were, they would last a little bit longer. So size two came with 160 diapers. I did notice for the name brand, it didn't come with a whole lot, like 96 for 47 bucks. So $17, Parish Choice, size two, came with 160. So that made this cake, and now we're gonna be able to make a ton of little ones. Or we could have made a whole nother big one because we still had a whole nother pack. So it didn't even take the whole pack to do this one. So $17. So the next thing you'll need is some little rubber bands like this. Um, these ones, you could use the ones that go in your hair or if your kids have that little Luma or you could buy them because it comes with so much more. I think it was called Luma bracelet or something like that. Um, it's just the little rubber bands and you'll want those to kind of hold the diaper. Those are just going to temporary hold it unless you want to leave them just while you're stacking them. Um, you'll see that here in just a little bit and then we kind of pull these off. Um, and then you're going to want your base, you're gonna want some sort of base. You can get the little cake boards. I got these at Hobby Lobby and it comes with 10 pack for $3.99, super affordable. This, if you're gonna do the small ones, these are gonna be for like the, I guess you'd call that like the guest table. You know, not that, yeah, more of the guests. This is gonna be the main show table, more of like, what do you call those, centerpieces? My sister's here, so centerpieces. Um, this, you don't really need a big one. So these are the six inch circles. Um, for this one, if you're gonna get the cake you want something sturdy to hold it if you're going to get these you want the 14 inch i think they come with four of them for 4.99 but i ended up getting this wooden base here these are at hobby lobby it's those i'm going to kind of tilt it and show you a little bit these are those big chunks of wood i believe they're 14.99 but i used a 40 percent off coupon i use that as my base because we went with this kind of woodsy theme it's like a deer and floral theme um you're going to need a base basically you could use cardboard cut it down um you're going to want some sort of, if you're doing a tall cake like this one, you need one about this size, which would be a paper towel roll. But this is actually the rolls that come out of our vinyl. So if you buy Cricut vinyl at all, um, Caesar in the roll from Michaels, you're going to have a roll like this, which these are really sturdy. These are really thick. Anyway, something to finally do with those rolls that come with our vinyl that we don't know what to do. Perfect, right? So you need something tall. That would be for this tall one. Um, this also came from a, a smaller thing of vinyl that I had. Um, another idea, if you're doing the small ones, would be these rolls. These come off of the, uh, so just like this. Thank you, my sister. I don't know if you heard her. For the tool here. So you have these rolls. You could pull the top and bottom off if you wanted to. Um, and then lastly, which I think these are going to be perfect. I think I'm going to utilize this today. Uh, these are just toilet paper rolls. So preference, whatever you want to use. Some people may be opposed to using toilet paper rolls. Um, you could utilize these. Or, like I said, you could even cut these down. But these are super... Thick. I don't know if you ever played with those before, but they're really thick. Um, so, something to do with those now. I know that I've made a long story short. So, basically, that's really it. Um, hot glue to kind of hold it down here. And some string to hold it together and some ribbon. So, basically, that's really all you need. And then as much as you want to spruce it up. If you want to put flowers on it, if you want to add any little things, that would be on you. This is just the basics of it. All right. So, let's get started. We're going to put it together and then I'll kind of talk about just what I put on this one because it's just tears. Um, so I'm going to pull this off. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. We're kind of moving on into New Year's. So this next week or so is going to be about baby showers since that's what I'm working on. We've got a lot of Dollar Tree DIY, stuff like that. All right, so we're going to start with our base, and we'll be able to make multiple of these. All right, all right. so I got another glue gun here. I think it's going to reach. This one right here, I still have mine. The only reason why I purchased this was because, hopefully you can see that. Is that in frame and everything? Okay. Um, the only reason why I purchased this the other day, I was making these at the house and I didn't have my glue gun there. These are from Walmart for two something by Adtech. And I'm going to tell you, this thing is amazing. It heats up so fast and the glue on it, like just, pour, I love it, is all I can say. Two something, Walmart, Adtech, if you're looking for a cheap, affordable, here. 
Um, and then I just, they also have that long roll that I have. They also sold that at Walmart too, but I didn't pick one up. All right, so what you're gonna do is take a little bit of glue on here on the bottom. So basically, you're just gonna get some glue on the bottom there. You're gonna push it down, right? So this is just, you're gonna get that glued on there. Um, you could use some other glues. If you wanna use like A6000, stuff like that, it's really unnecessary. Um, this is gonna work perfect. If you have a hot glue gun, just recommend really doing that. It's gonna get it down. Once you have this, let it set for a second. I kind of went around my outside on this one just because it was so big. And I'm gonna scoot that out of our way a little bit so we have enough space. But this is pretty centered here. Okay. Um, I went around mine and cut out of the little layer of glue there, but you don't have to do that. This is gonna be perfectly fine, right? So this is good. So we got our base. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your diapers, right? I'm gonna show you really quick how I folded this just to uh, to show you. So say there's, here's your diaper, right? You got your little front, you got your little number two and all that kind of stuff. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is this part where it's your top, you really don't wanna buy diapers that have designs all over them unless you like that look on your diaper. You really wanna stick with the plain white ones. So I wouldn't recommend like getting the um, Honest brand because like they come with designs, things like that. Um, I hate to tell you not to buy something because I mean that's a good brand, but if for diaper cake, you want a plain white. Um, anyways, you're gonna take where this, the top part is, the open flat part, have it towards you. And then just roll it. It don't have to be super tight. You're just rolling it. And then you're putting on that rubber band. But keep it towards the top so you can pull it off. Because here in a second, we're going to wrap a different string. Okay? So you're going to take these and just set them on here. And you may want to see how this is kind of a little bit. I'm kind of picky. All right? So I try to stick her with a sticker stick with the flatter ends but it's fine and another thing i found is see how you've got this where it opens like this try to put that towards the middle here towards the inside you can always turn them if you need to but uh whenever you get done in case you forget some i'm just setting them there they're going to probably fall over and i think i may be able to get one more and it's going to be really squeezing it like that all right so i'm going to try that right there so all I'm gonna do is kind of leave it like that. I'm gonna give me some string of some sort. I've just got some little uh, twine here. And get you a nice little size cut off. And I start from back here like that, that way I can get control of it. And you're gonna take it right in the center. And you're gonna kind of pull tight. Not too, too tight, just holding them there. All right, and I may be able to fit. I was thinking maybe I could fit one more diaper in there. So I'll kind of squeeze her in there. Just like that, all right. Just kind of making sure I'm keeping it kind of uniform, like that. Then I'm gonna carefully tie this. Like I said, don't squeeze too, too tight. So I'm just tying that off like that. Um, usually I don't tie a bow like that. I just kind of tie it like this because we're gonna wrap some ribbon around it. But if you're making it cute or something, you may wanna do that if you're not gonna be doing ribbon. All right, so for this one, it took what, three, so six, seven pieces. Trim that off. All right, so there's that, right? Now I'm gonna pull them rubber bands off. Just like that. That way, because I've already got the string holding it, that was just a temporary hold for us. So just like that. All right, so now after you got that, the very last step on this really is going to be, well, for the round piece, unless you're adding up a lot of things, I guess not, okay? So you're gonna take your ribbon. So the one that I'm using here is from um, Hobby Lobby. The only way that I purchase ribbon from Hobby Lobby is half off. So this week it's half off, $6.99 makes it $3.50. So um, I've already made the whole big cake and now a little one with this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you can see that here. So you're just gonna go right around that center. So I can go ahead and lay it on the side if I want to. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I've got enough everywhere. So say that looks good. I'm gonna trim it up where I need it. The camera good. All right. I'll kinda go, go over just a little bit there. Just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue down. So I'm gonna leave it on its side just so I can work with it. Add a little bit of hot glue here and here. And 
pop that down just like that. And I will say this glue gets extremely hot. Where my other one, I mean, I can stand it. So I've had people ask me before, how can you hold that? I get it if you're using one of these. Good grief, that gets hot. All right, so basically you got this really cute, um, just simple, just like that, right? Where people are buying these super cute uh, crayons, like you'd win at like a pageant or something like that from the Dollar Trees, like the little princess ones, and they're spray painting them, whether they're gold, silver, or whatever, and setting those on top. But like for me, I'm going to do flowers. So say, for example, I got these at the Dollar Tree, these ones right here. So say I was gonna use these ones and pop them down. There's some flowers I've already owned at the house, but I'm, I'm gonna switch out, but these are the same colors as her baby shower. So I got these from the Dollar Tree about, what, a year ago? I did a video on them, about a year ago, I guess. And I'm just gonna pop mine in the top just like that, which covers that hole. And just as simple as that, it's super cute, right? So I had another, here was it? So maybe even if I wanted to add in one more different shade of a color here, but I think the two white and the purple Looks super cute like that. So just like that, that would be simple. So say we left that one alone. I just popped them in. I didn't even glue them down. You could. I don't want to because that way she can utilize the diapers, okay? So let's set this one out of the way. So there is a one tier, just a simple for the table, right? So there we go. So now we've got two little cakes, right? So we've got two little cakes. And I may go back in here and add a couple because I can see that same difference on this one. So what I did, and I'm going to show you that really quick. Basically, I just pulled these and kind of stuffed that right down in here because you can't really tell it. Scoot these guys over. This is a diaper you need to turn. Okay, I got one facing that way. Yeah. All right. So something about like that. Got that the front. All right. And then if I need to, because it seems like it's all kind of going that way, I can always add one more on this side to even it up just because it seems like it's kind of going that way just a little bit. You're not going to see all that top here in a minute because we're going to hide it. We got this one and this one turned. Right. I think we're pretty good there. All right. So and then once again, you're just going to make sure that's centered just like that, looking good. So now this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So we're eight really stuffs those and makes them really full. Um, I don't think we can see any rubber bands, so we can now put the flowers back for that. Once again, didn't glue those in or anything. They just have the longer stem when I cut them um, and have them kind of piled in there just like that. Super cute. So far with that big box of diapers that was $17 from Walmart, we have a big one, two little ones. We still have one, two, three, four, five diapers left out of the package and an entire package left. So you could still create this all over again. I could make multiple of these little ones to put on the table. I think this is gonna be more than enough for us. So I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll probably just wrap the rest of that diapers up for her as part of the gift. So there is the diaper cakes. Um, now let me go ahead and talk on this one to show you what I added on here, okay? So can you see this pretty good? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through and tell you what I put on this. This cake, we did the math earlier. Now this is including the entire box of diapers, which you did not need, so you could use a smaller box of diapers. Um, and I could probably do the math by, and I'll try to leave that down in the description because I could minus off these diapers and what's left to tell you exactly what's in here. So it's gonna be less than $30 because that you don't need the entire box. So you could do a smaller bag of diapers, right? So the diapers, the wooden bottom, which was um, seven, seven, I think seven, eight, well, after you use your 40% off coupon, um, the ribbon, like I said, 350, only purchase ribbon when it's half off. I didn't purchase any uh, flowers from Hobby Lobby this week because they were not on sale. So I'll go back next week, hopefully, because this will be next weekend. Um, then on these words right here, the letters, baby, these were in the craft department at Hobby Lobby for a dollar, dollar 30 each, dollar 27 each. These flowers were in the wedding area. They were individual flowers for a dollar 99. Um, same with these little spruces of, I think it would be like lavender. Uh, these were two ninety nine. I only ended up using one, so I have an extra here, but it only took one, and I could still add some in here, which I'll probably do. Now, these little pieces of paper here, because I wanted it to kind of look like wood, um, they're right here. So it's just those little crinkle things. This is in the party supplies. And I think that's it. And then your hot glue. I think that was everything that was on here. Super affordable. Like I said, it's going to cost you less than 30 so probably around 20 bucks if you get the smaller bags of diapers. I bet... Um, cause I, okay, let's do the math. 160 divided by two is what? 
Because 80? So that'd be 80 divided yeah. by 2? Okay, so 80, right? So 80 minus 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 80 minus 21 would be, say, 50 something. So you need a, a package of diapers, about 60 diapers. Basically, what you need is about 60 diapers for this thing 55, 58, 60 diapers, and that's all you need. So, um, you're going to be around $20 to make a big old diaper cake, or you'd pay somebody like, what, $100, $200 to make one of these? But if you do the entire box, you're going to get a whole bag of diapers to give as the gift, two of these, or if you need a ton of these, you could. So, I think that's all on the diaper cake. Um, cake. I should have inserted pictures here somewhere to kind of show some of the projects. There's going to be videos after this. So, if you've watched this one already, but you haven't seen others, whether it's a year or two down the road, um, I'll have them linked in the description below, and I should have like a whole playlist on this party decor. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.